How you doing guys? Adrian Jr. with Some Ski Outdoors and we're getting ready for a rabbit hunting trip and I'm going to show you guys step by step I'm going to break it down on how we find our rabbits and our spots. So it starts out home on Google Earth. So as you guys know I'm from Las Vegas. The first thing you got to do is figure out where the city limits are and just go outside the city limits and look for green areas. Like you just go in a random spot. You just start zooming in and looking for areas kind of like this. A little bit greener. So this area looks good at first glance, but you could tell those are trees. And I don't like hunting around trees because it's hard to get to the rabbits. So I'm going to look for a completely different spot. I like bushes, not trees. So this area right here is noticeably greener than the rest of the desert around it. And I really like these valleys that come through. Rabbits like to hang out around these also. And there's roads coming through, so it's easily accessed. So once I find an area like this that looks good, I'm going to drop a pin on it with my phone and go there when I want to hunt it. So this time of year is really good for fishing. And if you guys are also around the Vegas area, you'll know it's been really windy, like the past five or six days, 25, 30 mile per hour winds. And fishing gets rough in those kind of winds. And rabbit hunting actually shines in really windy stuff because you can get closer to them. I like to usually hunt rabbits with like a bow or my pellet gun or something make it a little bit challenging. But you bring a shotgun when it's windy because the wind will just blow those arrows and pellets away. So let's get ready. Go see if we can get a couple. The weapon of choice today is going to be a Mossberg 500 12 gauge shotgun. That's what I like using when I use a shotgun for rabbits. I'm going to be shooting size 4 to size 6 shot at these dudes. And it's gonna be working good. Welcome to Sin City Fishing. Hunting. And the great outdoors. Wide open desert out here. Gotta go find those rabbits. All right, guys, we're out here at the spot we found on Google Maps. There's some random spot. And just so you guys know, this is gonna be an educational video on how to harvest blacktail jackrabbits. So, if you guys do not agree with hunting or harvesting animals, then this is your chance to exit the video. But if you guys do agree with this, I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the tips and tricks to go out and harvest these animals. Black-tailed jackrabbits are considered pests in most states, so they want you to harvest them. And you can do whatever you want with them, and we actually like to take the skulls and eat some of them and tan their hides. So, this video is going to show you guys how you can find rabbits and harvest them, so enjoy. There's a lizard right in the center of the screen. Alright, so we're coming out here to a spot we've never been. Note, if you can notice, it's really green, that's what we like. And these rolling hills are sometimes pretty good too for rabbits. So just look for green stuff and the rabbit should be nearby. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Looks like it's gonna be a good day. Rabbit. All right, real quick safety note if a rabbit pops up anywhere in here, I'm not going to shoot it in here. It gets high enough to where I know the bullets won't ricochet. Because you're in here, any direction you shoot right here, it'll hit off a rock and ricochet back at you. And that's the last thing you want when you're out. So, just a quick safety note, especially with 22s, you don't want to do that. Already? Yeah. Been out here like three minutes. Uh, green areas are always going to produce a lot of rabbits. 
and sometimes they like to come down here in these valleys. And if you just walk along the tops, they'll spook out and you can shoot down on them. So that's what we did. And we've only been out here probably two minutes. I already got one. There's number one. Probably barely any time at all. Thirty seconds after we just filmed the other one, we just got another one. Literally, literally thirty seconds later after we started walking, they're everywhere. We'll walk up on it. Shot that one after walking up on it, number three. Just got rolled over there on the top of that hill. Crazy. They're everywhere. Oh. Right, bring them up. That other one's up here on this hill. He was on the run. Thirty, thirty-five yards. down here. Put him out of his misery. That guy looked like he had been chewed up by a coyote. Oh, look at him. This dude looks like he's been chewed up by something. Like a coyote or something. It's crazy. Never seen this one. This guy was sitting next to a hole limping. Yeah, he had been chewed up by a coyote or something. Put him out of his misery. Horrible way to go. Oh, there he is. Look, there was two of them. Oh, look at him. Big old lizard. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Ooh. Yeah, there was a rat in there. Come on. Go shoot that rat. It's a chuckawalla. That thing, that thing scared the heck out of me. It scared me so bad. It's a chuckawalla. They go between these rocks and then they pop up. You can't get them. I thought it was trying to attack us. It was running straight at us. Straight at us. Yeah, the other thing was a rat. Big old rat. I've been wanting to get a snake. There's that thing right there. I don't even know what that is. Oh snap. My dad just shot this thing in the face. Look at that. Dang. If you notice what we wrap up at. Most of the time, you rarely look at where you're stepping. You always want to keep your head up and scan it. And the good thing about coming out to this random spot we did is that these rabbits aren't used to hunters. So the second they see you, they're running. Most of the time, they don't run until you get really close. So 
You notice he keeps his head up. He's constantly scanning for a rabbit to run. Because these dudes run, and if you're not scanning, he'll start at five feet away from you and be 100 in a matter of seconds. So that's an important piece of rabbit hunting. I can tell there's going to be something over here. It's real green. Might be a snake or a rabbit. There's a ton of chipmunks back here. Holy cow. Like 10. You don't want to shoot those. If you're seeing those, it's usually a pretty good sign that there's a lot of rabbits in there. Be careful not to shoot them. They're protected. The rabbit just popped out. Right there, right there, Sim. Ooh. Had a great day out here today. Once again, it's just a random spot we picked on Google Earth. Just look for green areas, really good. Use some techniques we showed you and you can have a day just like this. So thanks for watching and I'll see you outdoors.